Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 52. The Reverend Dr. Stephen Shave is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. Reading from St. Luke, the second chapter. The boy Jesus in the temple. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey. But then they began to search for him among the relatives and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, searching for him. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying that he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was submissive to them. And his mother treasured up all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. As an infant, the Christ child is presented at the temple in Jerusalem. And upon his shedding of blood and circumcision, in keeping with the law and the covenant, his name is called Jesus, meaning God saves a messianic name for a rescuer who will deliver God's people. So again, according to custom, when Jesus returns to Jerusalem for the Passover and instruction, as he is coming into adulthood as a young man, if he were to be lost in the holy city, where should we seek to find him? I mean, there is certainly plenty that the people of God would wish to be freed from still in 2021. Plagues, famines, disasters, the threat of tyranny. Where can we find the one who is to deliver us? Indeed, Christ is the King of all creation. His royalty was foretold and established at His birth. Maybe we should look to the kingdoms and the lofty places of an earthly ruler. Perhaps we will find him trying on crowns in a throne room or in a capitol building. Or the time he was in the temple as an infant, our eyes had seen our salvation and the glory of Israel. Such great glory that magi came bearing gifts fit for a great ruler. Talk about superstar. Certainly if Jesus was worthy of such a voyage just to see his fame, we might find him among the elite, with those of celebrity status among the high society. Or... Maybe we will find him among the philosophers of the day, the learned, the academic debate scene, as even at a young age, he amazes with his understanding and his answers. No, having just participated in the feast of Passover, where can he be found? The Son of God and Savior of the world. We find him in his father's house. Not government palaces, not celebrity mansions or talk show sets, not university lecture halls. Where is your salvation to be found? The father's 
house. Here we see that God is truly numbered among us. A young man of humble upbringing who is listening and asking questions, facing all of the same struggles as an ordinary tween. God, there in our frailty and our suffering, our angst and our grief, God made man one of us who will increase in wisdom and stature, submissive to his parents, obedient to the law and the will of his Father. Now think on this. The temple, the Passover, the holy city of Jerusalem. The dots being connected as Jesus listens and asks and amazes with answers of his own. The temple. Destroy this temple, and on the third day it will be raised again. The Passover. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. As the angel of death approaches, where the blood of the Lamb has been painted on the doorway to the heart, death passes by, rescued and delivered Jerusalem, the Messiah must be killed outside of the holy city. Upon his triumphant entry at Passover, crucified, risen again, and ascends into heaven. But when he comes again, he will bring with him the new Jerusalem that descends down from heaven. All of it culminating in the life of the world to come. No more temple, no more sacrifices, no more blood to be shed. A new heaven and a new earth because the Christ will pay the penalty for your sin. Suffer your cross. Keep the law perfectly on your behalf. Obedient unto death to give you life. Because this This is the Savior of the world, not crowned with gold, but with a crown of thorns. No lofty throne, but bristling wood that is pierced with nails. No looking into the heavens to find, but a God with us. In suffering, in persecution, in betrayal, poured out in death, as we too carry our cross. And so for those who wander along with Mary looking for the Son, God, why have you treated us so, leaving us scurrying to find you as we seem to distance ourselves further and further from our Savior? I ask you today, are you afraid? Are you angry? Are you bitter? Are you hurting? Are you grieving? Then come to the Father's house. And I can assure you, you will find Christ to be there for you. In the waters that bring healing and peace. In the very body and blood that rescues and delivers. And you can treasure it up in your heart week after week after week after week. You don't need to wait for a vaccine or a political election or scientific breakthrough before we can breathe a sigh of relief or have a peace that passes all understanding or live a life filled with joy. No. No matter how wounded or fractured, or even betrayed, the answer is right in front of us. It is ours for the taking. Take and eat. Take and drink. Come to the table in my Father's house and eat of my feast. So if you want to partake of your salvation, if you want to be cleansed and healed 
from the brokenness of your sin. If you want to mend your heart that has been broken and soul that has been wounded, you don't need to search the internet. You don't need to have a VIP pass to see Jesus. If you want to see Jesus, you can always find Him here. Here in His Father's house with an open invitation to all. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now may the peace that passes all understanding keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. Today we pray for Mindy Taves, who serves the Lord in Taiwan. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.